Well, local beaches are seeing an increased risk of rip currents and rough surf this weekend. Meteorologist Steve Fundero explains the science behind the rip current and what to do if you're ever caught in one. Labor Day is behind us. Kids are back to school. The summer season is coming to a close, but that doesn't mean we stop going to the beach. And as peak hurricane season is upon us, the risk of rip currents and rough surf is evident. Last year in the United States, rip currents were third on the list of weather-related fatalities. Reason being, they're sneaky or subtle, and they catch you off guard. So to help better understand how they work, let's go find one. A rip current is a channel of water that flows away from the coastline usually from a break in the sandbar and the momentum of water moving with the waves. The most important thing to remember when caught in a rip current is to remain calm. You got to remember the current is pulling you out to sea, so if you try to swim back to the shore, it's going to be really difficult to make progress. Instead, swim parallel to the shoreline. This will get you out of the channel of water where you can allow the waves to bring you back into the beach. All right, let's go get caught in one and put the science to work. We'll have to remember step one, to remain calm. It also helps to find a vantage point somewhere on the beach. Gives you reference of how far you've drifted. Step two, swim parallel to the shoreline. Now step three, we'll use the waves to bring us back to shore. Use these tips if you find yourself in distress out in the water, but it's always just best to swim near a lifeguard and to check in with the lifeguards because no matter how experienced a swimmer you may be, the ocean will always find a way to win. In Virginia Beach, Steve Pandero for 10 on your side.